And if it's Tuesday, most definitely we know how you do it. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular section, we dive into an interview that looks at investment opportunities for low-income earners. And in this case, we're looking at mostly the youth. And so I'm joined with James Mugo, who is a property value and real estate investor advisor. Thank you so much for creating time to be with us, Thank James. You, Thank you too. All right. Yeah. So for the for someone who is meeting you for the first time, yes. and um, I know I've, give, I've given a little bit of what you what you do, mm -hmm. uh, which is in uh, real estate and matters pertaining investment. Tell us what's your educational background and where it all began. Well, that's a, that's a book by itself. <laughs> uh, Briefly then. Yeah, that, uh, thanks first for hosting me in this show. Yes. And, uh, it's a great honor to see that uh, you are doing something great for the youth. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is James Mogo, as you have said, but on social media I'm called James Prodi. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it, it relates with what I do mm -hmm. currently. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talk about my background, it's really diverse because... Uh, in education, I'm a, I'm a graduate okay. in management of information systems. Mm, ICT. ICT. Yes. Uh, but currently, I'm doing real estate. So there are two different areas, mm -hmm. but uh, I see ICT also comes in handy mm -hmm. in matters real estate. Mm -hmm. So I won't uh, I won't say it's a really very different kind of an area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. So how did that transition happen? When did it happen that you got into matters pertaining real estate? Uh, previously, before I joined uh, the company I'm working with currently, yes. I work with Optiven as a property advisor. But before that, I used to work outside uh, outside Kenya. I was in Burundi, DRC, and South Sudan. So I was doing business in ICT. Then uh, it happened, uh, I had to change, mm -hmm. I had to switch uh, due to the civil war mm -hmm. in, uh, in South Sudan. So when I came back to Kenya, that's when I met with the CEO, mm -hmm. George Washiuri. He used to be my mentor previously in business ideas. So when I came back, uh, we, I had to join him and work together with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay, so now the conversation <coughs> for yes, the day, yes. which is investment opportunities for low-income earners. Yes. And in this case, you're looking at the youth. Yes. Um, so how can I invest as I am person? And at what particular point... Do I know that I'm eligible to be able to invest? Uh, I, I think that is where most of us at youth are missing it. Because uh, we, we don't know when to start. But uh, I always tell people, if I knew, I would have started when I was in campus. Yeah, that's the best time. Mm -hmm. The moment you're getting your pocket money, the moment you're still in school, you are able to save enough to start investing. Mm -hmm. You can do some small businesses. You know, when you're still in campus or in college, to save enough for you to invest in your first uh, uh, investment deal. Uh, the challenge comes with the, we call them the, the four W's at one H. Mm -hmm. When, where, why, with what, and how do you start? Yes, you especially see? the how. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, there's no age limit for the youth on when to start uh, investing. But you can start from the first time you start making some money. That's why I always tell guys who are in college and in, in campus, think of different business ideas you can do in campus. You know, like our CEO when he was in campus, Kapete campus, he was uh, he was lending magazines and, and books. You know, at a cost. You can also do loud work. You can do content crea uh, creation. You know, some those ideas that can generate you some small cash then you need to identify a genuine agent that you can deal with. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'll say the company I work with, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. uh, we can assist you now to start the journey mm -hmm. and start investing. Okay. And uh, something else, how, don't look for something that is beyond your budget. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, to turn some jungle of fundraising mm -hmm. for, you know, heart failure. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I think now the best question to ask mm -hmm. is, the investment opportunities that are there for young people mm -hmm. when it comes to just the thought of it. Because when you look at a young person who is just starting to work, yeah, yeah. and probably they have a student loan, mm -hmm. 
and uh, like th these expenses. Mm. So literally every income they earn, uh, there is expenditure. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I don't have anything to invest in. Yeah. So what are these particular investments opportunities that will be of good benefit? Uh, investment is diverse. Uh, when we talk about uh, real estate itself, yes. it's really diverse. Mm -hmm. For a youth, uh, it, it's always good to have a issue on how you plan your money, the amount you spend on your expenses, and the amount you can save. Mm -hmm. The same way we, we got some money for the tithe. You know, every time you get your money, you, you could, this, 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 this lease you mm -hmm. give for tithe. There's a lease you give for lent. Also for investment, included in your budget, in your monthly budget. Uh, currently, you can get something like we can say something for capital gain. You buy a piece of land somewhere, not very far from the city, maybe in, within the distance of uh, radius 80 kilometers from the CBD, because that is still within Nairobi, metropolis. Get something that is not very expensive, between 250 to 500 thousand. Mm -hmm. Start saving, paying pore pore. You know, with time, you'll be able to own something. And by the time you are done with campus, by the time you are doing your first, your second job, the value of that piece of land you have already appreciated. Mm -hmm. Another idea is to invest in a car wash business. You know, you can you can lease a piece of land that is just next to the road. Mm -hmm. You lease at a small price, then you set up a, a, a car wash. You just uh, get some bijana who will be mm -hmm. doing the mm -hmm. cleaning business, and you'll be able to generate an extra cash for yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. So basically just start small with what you have yeah. and what you can. Yeah. Just even if it's small, starting a small business and oh, everything. Yes. Now let's look at, uh, there's this word has been thrown around when it comes to insurance companies, like mm -hmm. the investing in market, in money market funds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that and uh, uh, is it a low risk option? Every investment is a risk. Mm -hmm. Every investment. May it be uh, motor dealer business, may it be salon business, may it be the capital market, every business is a risk. And uh, an advice for the youth, you need to be prepared for anything. You know, you can either make it or lose it. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to be set. When it comes to the money market, the, the way most of the insurance companies are doing, uh, I would say it's a high risk. Uh, it, it, it's medium, mm -hmm. it, it's moderate. Mm -hmm. You can try it. But uh, if you feel you're not comfortable with it, you can go for till bonds yeah, mm -hmm. the, by mm -hmm. the government, or you can buy shares. Mm -hmm. We have a number of companies who are uh, selling shares, mm -hmm. and they can make you a good return. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you don't need to be in a lash mm -hmm. for you to gain. Invest and wait. Mm -hmm. no, you know, it's not uh, like uh, get rich quick. Yeah, you need a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. So you buy those shares today, then you have to wait for two, three years. Mm. Yeah. Apple kuna changamoto. Most, most of us, we want <laughs> things to just happen <laughs> real quick. Uh, and that's, uh, that, that's what's keeping most of us from investing as well. Because mm -hmm. you want to invest in something, then you want to sell again tomorrow mm -hmm. and make a 100% income, which is not possible. It can never work like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so before buying shares, mm. how do you even go about just, as a young person who yeah. I am so clueless mm -hmm. about uh, financial literacy, yeah. How do I go about just learning uh, the process of buying shares mm -hmm. and uh, the prices of, oh, uh, just to know that these particular prices and how am I supposed to like uh, sell them in the near future? So what is the uh, process look like? Uh, we have a number of stock brokers mm -hmm. within the city. I'll, I'll not mention their names, but mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. maybe I can link you with some. You, you host them for the next row. Mm -hmm. We have a number of stock brokers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when, when you interact with the stock brokers, they first give you uh, the prices of the available shares mm -hmm. and how you can dispose the shares. They also advise you or not to open a CDC account. Mm -hmm. That is an account that you'll be trading with your shares. So it's a process, but it's not that complicated. It's not like uh, locket science. Mm -hmm. They'll be selling. They, they, they'll be selling shares on your behalf. So when you you buy this uh, this company shares, let's say you buy James uh, James Proti share today, mm -hmm. and uh, the value goes up let's say in another six months, mm -hmm. they will advise you. The stockbroker will advise you. I tell you, can we dispose of your shares now? And then you can reinvest in another one. So you, you're always switching in between the different uh, opportunities available. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah. about those opportunities, we have scenarios whereby there's issue of credibility, yeah. whereby you just, 
I think this is also one of a, one of the fears for young people because mm. if I have I've saved this particular amount of money and I want to probably buy shares, put my money into the uh, the just investing in probably high yielding fund yes. space. Mm. So I'm so much concerned about are these people credible? So how do we go about knowing who are legit in this particular business? Because we have so many scam stories that are always popping up. Uh, a stockbroker is a registered entity and mm -hmm. uh, they, they are trading on behalf of the Nairobi store security exchange. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you involve with them, you need at least to inquire a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also visit the, the Nairobi store security exchange. They are open and uh, they can advise you mm -hmm. on which company you can deal with mm -hmm. yeah so basically we just could you tumor as uh, young people yeah uh, i always say mm -hmm. any investment as i told you it's a risk mm -hmm. but before you invest mm -hmm. due diligence mm -hmm. yeah e everywhere even yeah. in our business in real estate due diligence will save you otherwise mm -hmm. if you do it see the head you you lose all right let's look <laughs> at, at uh, would you consider the common charmers mm. whereby we just gather as a as group of friends and mm. we decide that we'll be distribute uh we'll be actually uh giving a certain a uh, part a uh, certain amount of money mm -hmm. and then uh, it'll be like a go round situation yeah. is that a form of a good investment it's not a bad investment but what is the purpose? What is the goal? Mm -hmm. What is the vision of mm -hmm. the chama? Mm -hmm. Is it just investing? Then this becomes you bought the money, you buy some bills of hunger, mafuta ya kupika, add some clothes. That is not an investment. Mm -hmm. That is uh, what you can call dormant capital. The mm -hmm. tuna, you know, you're just giving your money to. It's like th there's no interest in fact. Um. But if this chama has a vision, like mm -hmm. we are saving money per month. Mm -hmm and we'll be able to invest in ABCD. We are mm -hmm. going to you know, save money, buy a piece of land, buy a piece of uh, a flat, mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. then dispose of in a few years, mm -hmm. then that is investment. Mm -hmm. But if you're just contributing money mm -hmm. without a purpose, without a name, mm -hmm. without a goal, then I would advise you come and show you another avenue <laughs> where you can invest. <laughs> yeah. Another scenario will be uh, a young person who is now on a payroll. Yes. Uh, they are able to be stable, mm -hmm. and then they have you know, they have good amount of money. Mm -hmm. So they are contemplating: should I buy a car at this particular point? Because mm -hmm. now my friends will be like, you need to have a multi to just yes. you know move from one place to another, yeah. or should I buy, buy a land? And mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Because most people, young people, when speaking about land, mm. it's always that I'm not yet there. Like, yeah. it's probably in the near future mm -hmm. that the amount I have, it won't be enough even to take care of that land. But when it comes to a car, it'll be like, <laughs> um, movement, you know. Yeah. So which um, is the best option to go with in that scenario? I also drive. Mm -hmm. So I'll not say that buying a car is a bad idea. But you need to budget. The, the size of a car you're going for you know, how much are you investing in it? What I've been advising young guys, you can get a small car, you know? uh, convenience is all we need. It's not the size of the, the aging, you see? You can get a small piece, uh, a small car. Then when it comes to real estate investing, maybe you are renting somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you want to have your own compound. You can buy a piece of land and start building. Mm -hmm. Or else you can go for option B, something called mortgage. You go to a place like uh, Lavington, Kilimani. There are, uh, there are nice apartments which are up for sale there. You can check on uh, www.pmcestates.co.ke. Mm -hmm. uh, they have very nice estates. Then you, you get a piece there, be paying on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. but you own it. You see, you're living in the apartment, but you're paying for it. Then in a few years, you'll be owning a piece of land in Lavington. Mm -hmm. You see, you can also rent that out, you know. Mm -hmm. You have a car, yes, you have an apartment, you rent it out, you know, you're making an extra coin, you mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. um, and then in the future now you can buy a piece of land with Optiven and build a home, mm -hmm. but at least you have invested somewhere. Okay. So I won't, I won't say that uh, a car is bad, mm -hmm. uh, driving is not bad, right. I love driving myself, okay. but I always go for the smallest. <laughs> CC. Yeah, because yeah. it also de depreciates in yeah, value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when, when, I, when I buy a car, I always go for the smallest CC ever. Mm -hmm. Then I look at the, the balance of the money I have. I invest it somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. All right. Th that's, that's good reasoning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've looked at uh, other couple of alternative uh, forms of investment. We've mm. looked at uh, money market funds. Mm. Then we've looked at uh, investing in high yields funds. And then we've yeah. looked at shares. What are the, a couple of other investment plans for uh, people who are earning uh, on a uh, low income, that is? 
Uh, okay, first, we always say invest in yourself, mm -hmm. your health first, mm -hmm. get an insurance cover for yourself, mm -hmm. for health, just in case of a rainy day. You never know. The second one is education. Mm -hmm. Invest a lot in making yourself better. Mm -hmm. the better pa uh, person you know than you mm -hmm. so it's always good to you know go back to school get a lot of books learn uh the next option is real estate mm -hmm. this one i'm, I'm crazy <laughs> about it I, I, uh -huh. I can't go out of the studio without talking about real estate mm -hmm. get a piece of land get a piece of house get mm -hmm. get a get a unit somewhere mm -hmm. and uh, there's something i learned from my ceo mr george washiori he told me every month you wake up and you don't have a mortgage you're paying then no <laughs> your money is not in good use see so for young people who are out there and they're making some money get a mortgage get a house get a you know an apartment somewhere mm -hmm. just know that even if you are living maybe on vacant road you have an apartment that is earning you money in somewhere like uh, Kilimani, lovington somewhere if not so buy a piece of land build a home rent it out Mm -hmm. always make some extra calm and uh, you know property value is always appreciating it will mm -hmm. never depreciate you you may see all this solar babu you know on social media or whatever but real estate will never depreciate i've been there now for the last uh, like uh, 10 years in real estate and i can tell you i've never seen any single day that the value is going down mm -hmm. other things maybe you can invest in we have talked about the shares and stock maybe i can also advise on other business ideas that can generate you cash. Yeah, get okay. a number of business ideas. You can check on my blog, uh, James, jamesmogol.blogspot.co.ke. Mm -hmm. I've shared about 50 business ideas one can take and they can be generating money for you. Okay. But then I can tell you, Michelle, mm -hmm. there's a lady I advised. Mm -hmm. she, she works in uh, Absa Towers mm -hmm. near our office there. Mm -hmm. And then she was looking for invest uh, investment opportunities. So mm -hmm. I gave her an idea. Get some boys who are looking for, for work buy them trolleys you know they, they're trolley for my eye and uh, mm. smokies yes gather like 10 of them mm -hmm. give these boys mm. then every day they'll be giving you maybe 1000 1500 mm -hmm. it is doing well mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of thinking of a business idea mm -hmm. something unique mm -hmm. you can do mm -hmm. you don't need to be involved mm -hmm. but it's generating you money all right yeah. do you feel like it's more of shifting the mentality of just white collar jobs because most people Yes, we are well learned at back mm -hmm. went to school, studied a particular profession, but mm -hmm. issue of employment, that's a, that has been always an issue. So how do you shift that mentality to just be ready to uh, to equip yourself financially and get going by creating a job opportunity, opportunity for yourself and others? Just that shiftment of the, the mentality aspect of it. I like the, the use the truth. Mm -hmm. We cannot all fit in the corporate sector. We cannot all be employed by the government. Mm -hmm. But we can employ everyone in our nation. We can create so many jobs that Kenya will be looking for workers from other countries. Mm -hmm. You just need to think without the box. Mm -hmm. Come up with ideas, crazy ideas. By the way, some of these crazy ideas create more work. We have seen some guys who have been working in banks, leaving the corporate sector, and they start doing comedy. Mm -hmm. They're they employing 15 people, 20 people, one individual. Mm -hmm. We have seen guys leaving... Uh, views on companies they said i met in ghana the other time she's a kenyan mm -hmm. she was uh, working as a, a near hostess in one of our airlines in kenya then she went one day to ghana and identified an opportunity farming uh, that guy, uh, that lady is doing capsicum and uh, tomato farming in ghana mm -hmm. a kenyan lady mm -hmm. you can imagine mm -hmm. so opportunities are there myself i do farming a lot of farming but i've never been in the farm you never see me there in the farm mm -hmm. i just gave that job opportunity to another guy you see, and the guy is able to feed himself and feed for the family. Mm -hmm. But I do a lot of farming, dairy farming, coffee mm -hmm. farming, mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. horticultural farming. Mm -hmm. But I'm here at uh, Absa Towers, I'm selling land. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just about thinking outside the box. And speaking about thinking for the sake of young, uh, for the people who are watching us, mm -hmm. and they're wondering, when it comes to financial literacy, mm -hmm. suggest a couple of books that you've read and people mm -hmm. can actually go and just educate themselves uh, or just from uh, social media and YouTube. Okay, uh, the first book I would recommend, Unleash Your Full Potential by George Washiori. Mm -hmm. If you've never read that book, mm -hmm. then you need to go look for it. Mm -hmm. The other book is by Robert Kiyosaki, mm -hmm. The Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Mm -hmm. If you read that book, then mm -hmm. your mind sits mm -hmm. automatically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, for people who are watching us, 
make sure that you follow up and mm. make, make sure you just build up capacity, mm. your capacity right. and that muscle just mm. to learn more about mm. financial literacy and everything. So at Right for, for Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira. So James, if people want to reach out to you and keep yeah. this conversation going, how can mm. they reach out to you? Well, uh, I'm very active on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, and my Facebook page is uh, James Proti. Mm -hmm. Just P James P. R O T I. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have a YouTube channel, with the same name. Mm -hmm. uh, you can engage me on my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm open. You know, people will reach out and uh, they're inquiring on different things, mm -hmm. <laughs> even me Tumba business. But uh, yes. <laughs> personally, personally, I've never done me Tumba business. <laughs> you connect always, them to the right people. I, I, I always see people asking me, how can I start me Tumba business? But uh -huh. uh, I'm always there to assist, you know, to read the hard when I can. Mm -hmm. So you can always hit me on 0708 mm -hmm. 459 mm -hmm. 336. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, James. Um, much we'll go for creating time to be with us. To about this conversation. I'm looking forward to we'll have a further conversation with more time. Much welcome. All right. So that is uh, James Muga. We're looking. We were looking at uh, opportunities, investment opportunities uh, for low-income earners, and majorly focusing on young people. At right for channels, you can find us across all our social media handles. I'm Michelle Shira Ramagoko. We'll be right back.